How are you guys doing today? Good. Good? All right, man. Well, hey, I'm really excited to be here and talk to you guys again. Um, and just really excited for today, for the opportunity. And um, I've been keeping up with the coaches and obviously keeping up with, with the team and, and kind of done some thinking about where we're at right now in the season. And I was kind of thinking about kind of a good word to use for like where I think this team is headed and, and kind of how the season's gone. And, and I actually thought of the word destiny. And, and I looked up the word destiny in the dictionary and uh, the definition was the events that will necessarily happen to a particular person or thing in the future. Um, and I think about when I was back here in October and I talked to you guys at the beginning of the season, there was like 25 guys in this room and now we're down to 11. And I don't want to sit here and talk about why some guys aren't here or maybe what happened to some guys that um, aren't with us today, but I do want to take a minute to recognize all you guys for making it this far in the season. And, and I think you guys should all be, you know, that's an accomplishment to be here today. And we're going to talk more about that, but I also wanted to share a little story um, about an athlete. I watched a documentary on Stefan Marbury. Do you guys remember him? I watched a, a documentary on him uh, a couple weeks ago, and it really inspired me. Um, it talked about his career, and, and Stefan Marbury was actually from Brooklyn. He's actually one of the best point guards ever to come out of Brooklyn, New York. And... Um, he ended up going, he was a great player. He put up some great numbers, was an all-star, played for the T-Wolves back in the day with Kevin Garnett. Uh, ended up going to the Knicks in 2004. He had a pretty decent, you know, some pretty good years there, but towards the end of his career with the Knicks, it didn't go too well. He started to not play very well. The team had high expectations and they weren't performing. And um, uh, basically the media, the TV, you know, the newspaper writers, they were all really kind of hating on Stephon Marbury and giving him a real hard time. And he took it to heart, like it really started to, he, take, he took it personal. And to make matters worse, his dad actually passed away at a game in 2007. His dad was at Madison Square Garden watching the game. He had a heart attack and he died. Um, and that happened and then he, you remember the Starburys, those shoes? They actually went out, those shoes, that shoe company went out of business. Um, so that year he actually ended up getting cut from the New York Knicks. So he got cut from the Knicks. His father passed away first and foremost. Obviously, that's you know, the worst thing. And then he lost his business as well, his shoe business. And he went through a really bad depression. And he was like, his wife was saying that he was like in his room. Um, just he wouldn't come out and spend time with his kids and his family. And he was like just super depressed. And he said he wanted to die actually in 2009 was a quote he said. He was like putting all these videos on the internet of him crying. And like he was like freaking out. He went through a really bad time. He got a phone call from a team in China to come out there and play for, uh, for a basketball team professionally. And he was kind of hesitant about it, but then he ended up going out there and playing. And he played for a team, uh, then ended up going to Beijing. And uh, long story short, he won two championships for the Beijing team. And they showed video clips of him winning his first cha championship. And he was holding up the trophy and he won the MVP that year. And everyone was chanting MVP and he was like crying and like he had so much joy on his face. He was so happy. And it was like, it was amazing to see like how far he had to go to get to, to get to the dream that he wanted of winning the championship. He had to go across the world for it. And he ended up having, um, they ended up having like plays and movies about him. And there's a statue of Stefan Marbury and like everyone in China like embraces him and really celebrates him. And um, I just thought it was really inspirational. And you know, the point that I want to make about, about Marbury is the fact that I believe that he was uniquely positioned for greatness. And although he wanted in his heart of hearts to bring a championship to New York City, um, he wasn't able to do that, but he brought two championships to Beijing, China. Um, although he wanted to be celebrated um, by New York fans and media, and that didn't happen, he became a legend in a new place. Um, you know, he was unique uniquely positioned for greatness. And when I think about that, I think about how all the guys in this room right here are uniquely positioned for greatness. Every single one of you guys are. And I know that things have been tough and I know you guys might be feeling a little down. I know that you know, we've had some, some tough losses and we lost some guys. Um, but I, I wanna let you know that I look at all of you guys as soldiers. And I think that you're gonna go out here and I want you guys to you know, view this as an opportunity to carry the fallen soldiers on your back, you know, the guys that have been here before that aren't here today. Um, and I think, you know, the best way for us to gain momentum is to take down Rock Valley today. You guys agree? Yeah. So 
even though they are the defending national champs, I believe that this team right here can still be the national champs of this season. We're not talking about last year, we're talking about this year, today. Um, even though Rock Valley beat us last time, you know, I believe that if we go out there and we give 100% and we trust our teammates and our coaches and we run the right place, we can go out here and we can take them out today. So I want you guys to remember that this is our house and today is our day to take down Rock Valley. You guys with me? Come on, family on three. Come on, let's do, let's do family on three, all right? On three, all right, I'm gonna leave this off. Let's go out there and let's give it 100%, all right? One, two, three, yeah. family! Thank you. That was great. Yeah, the, uh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? Mark. Mark Tyler. Mark. I don't know if I met you before. Nice to meet you. Real excited, man. Let's go out and let's get it, man.